Alright, so welcome to this video. In this you will learn how you can manage Microsoft Dynamics 365 security. Now security is very important component of Dynamics 365 application and not just Dynamics 365 but any application because it controls that who has access to what area of the application and what kind of operations they can perform right if any application doesn't have this feature then everybody will have access to all the information which is not right as per the organization rules right so in this video you will learn how to manage microsoft dynamics 365 security first you will learn about what is dynamics 365 security and then i'm going to explain you each component in detail so let's start so first let's understand what is a security model so security model allows you to manage what users inside dynamics 365 can do and have access to so as you know that dynamics 365 has a lot of entities and components and you don't want all users to have all the access of the application so based on their security role based on their roles and responsibilities they should be able to access the application areas and perform the actions according to what they are supposed to do you know it does two things number one it helps organization maintain the integrity and give only access to the application areas that are relevant for the particular user second the user doesn't get overwhelmed and focus only on the work that they need to do right so it's very very important the important thing is like in business information must be shared as per roles so security roles are so important to avoid any unauthorized access for example if the person in the uh, service department want to know that how much money organization is making and have access to all the opportunities and orders then it's not a good idea it's not a good uh, way of doing the business because the service manager has a responsibility to manage the service request and make sure that customers are happy right they don't have anything to do with what this company sale is making and which salesperson is performing really good right so those are kind of unauthorized access now of course it depends on the company to company so security rules helps you avoid any unauthorized access to the application and the data and security is structured with the help of business units and team which you will learn in the coming videos uh, that how you can create a structure of the security the security model itself using business units and teams right and user security is managed through the security role so every user is assigned one or more than one security role based on their jobs and responsibilities and they can only perform those actions which are configured in the security role right so we'll talk about that as well and if there is no security role assigned to a user then the user will not be able to access dynamics 365 application uh, you must have seen in the previous videos that uh, when the user is created in office 365 admin center and assigned a license the user is now available in Dynamics 365 application, but the user doesn't have access to the application because there is no security role assigned. So, you know, whenever you create a new user, you need to make sure that you assign appropriate security roles. If the user doesn't have appropriate security roles, they will not be able to access Dynamics 365 application areas, right? So this is a little bit about security model and I think it's enough for you to understand and get the idea of how the security model is available inside Dynamics 365. So let's see what is controlled by the security model. Number one, the security model controls access to the application components like forms, views, dashboards, etc. Right. In other words, it also controls the access to entities. Right. We can also control access to records. So, for example, if a user in a business unit or, for example, a department and they just want to see as per the job description they should only see their records like they should not see their team members records so that you can control through the security model and uh, you know access to the features like customizations mobile access printing so these are different features available we'll talk about this in detail when we go in actually configuring the security and i'm going to show you how it works you can see the security role for a csr manager this is just an example so you can see that on the left hand side you have all the entities and on the right hand side you have what operations a user can perform at at which level so in the coming video i'm going to explain you what exactly this is all about and how you can control dynamics 365 security using security roles so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video tutorial